Know what you represent. What does your body resonate to? What can your body be resembled as? What parts of your body can be looked at as other aspects of this planet or as in this universe? I know what my body resonates to. You should ask yourself what yours is. As melanated people, as black people who exist on this planet, it's obvious that your tree, I mean not your tree, you as a tree, your your um hair stems to be like branches. Your veins stems to be like branches. Your scalp in between the scalp resembles to be like roots. When melanin reflects off of you through your hair, it resembles the sparkle as if it was stardust. Me and you know well enough all of the things melanin exists in that are scattered across this universe. What is keeping you from realizing what you are and what you resemble and what image you were made in as of people who have known about religion and all of this stuff and know for a fact that they were made in the image of God understand the way that God looks look at the way that God like look at the way that God is resembled look at the God who was created as in for all races when you we all understand when you do enough research if you were a religion person you all you all understand that in every book it, it leads to the black person being God you truly think about it and you truly understand it okay look at God as in the black man as in the black woman as in the man after the, the after the woman look within that ask a, and look within all of that and see for yourself appearance wise why that person can appeal to be God what about the way it looks looks godly what aspects of themselves make them closer to the highest consciousness by appearance those are things that they don't want to tell you that is the reason why they have standards between our culture that is the reason why they separate our culture so we don't look and appeal to that version of God itself they don't want you to appeal to that and that's not because they're racist that's because they are in so in they're so um, inferior to you that they would not even let you look as the God you are because they're scared of what you will become now that it is racist with the way they're doing it but it's also fear behind it too fear makes you scared of things that you are not all knowing about now the people who are all knowing can be unrighteous now when I say that I mean the people of this of this this world are in fear the leaders of this land are all knowing so they're gonna perceive a message they're gonna make an outlook on this life so where everyone is in fear of the of God and everyone doesn't appreciate and look at all the aspects of God, of God. Now, you who surely so share consciousness and have a pineal gland, regardless of if you don't have one or not, if you exist and you are human, you are God. Don't put that through you. Genetically, black people are of a higher consent of God than you but that doesn't mean that you are not one at all your consciousness is still at the state of God we all come from the that small little spark of the highest consciousness don't make it seem like because they are genetically built better than you that you cannot be God as well I don't even know who will resonate to that because I don't know nobody who thinks like that. But I'm coming to tell you that anyway. And another thing, like, 
with this culture as, as black people and shit. They, they literally change every way of you through your food, through your language, through your teachings, through your appearance. They do everything to keep you stuck. And you're not supposed to live by those standards regardless of what you want to achieve with your life. I'm never cutting my hair. I don't care where I work. That is the extension of my power. That is the extension of... of um